recommendation six of the What Works Clearinghouse Practice Guide Assisting Students Struggling in Mathematics Intervention in the Elementary Grades is to regularly include timed activities as one way to build students' fluency in mathematics. The What Works Clearinghouse and the expert panel assigned a strong level of evidence to this recommendation, meaning that there is consistent evidence that meets What Works Clearinghouse standards and indicates that the practice improves outcomes for diverse student populations. This guide recommends timed activities to build fluency along with the other recommendations. The timed activities are just one aspect of building fluency. The other recommendations in this guide also contribute greatly to building fluency. Timed activities are a part of the picture of how we ensure all students develop strong mathematical skills. The practice guide describes fluency as a one to five minute routine within the intervention. Increasingly, automatic retrieval can be supported in a variety of ways that are fun, engaging, and not anxiety provoking. The key is having a high number of opportunities to respond paired with immediate corrective feedback as needed. There are five action steps which are outlined in the practice guide on how to carry out this recommendation. First, identify already learned topics or activities that support math fluency. Target prerequisite skills needed for current or future more complex math concepts. For example, having a time fluency activity on multiplication basic facts supports students in fluently solving fraction problems where students will need to access common multiples. In general, an in-depth treatment of whole numbers and their operations for time fluency activities supports learning in elementary grades and through high school. If your curriculum doesn't have enough timed activities built in, provide more practice opportunities and feedback for your students. The second action step is to choose varied and engaging activities and accompanying materials to use in the timed activity and to set clear expectations for the students. These activities can be small group or in pairs. Choose activities that provide opportunities for students to respond quickly. This can be done verbally, by writing on a whiteboard, or even hand signals. The key is high rates of response and immediate corrective feedback in a short amount of time. The third step to carry out this recommendation is to ensure that students have an efficient strategy to use as they complete the timed activity. If you used a manipulative during instruction, have them available for students to use during timed activities. If students' retrieval of answers becomes automatic and they no longer need a strategy, that's great. That's what we want. The fourth action step is to be sure to encourage and motivate students to work hard by having them chart their progress. Fluency isn't about getting faster. It's like a sport. If I wanna run a 5K, I start where I am and I run regularly and monitor my improvement. After daily practice in math fluency, I do a bit more and gradually improve. The goal is not to stress, compare ourselves to others or get faster. The goal is to improve. We need to explicitly share that we do this practice to grow our brain and model the mindset and self-talk that we want our students to apply to this work. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, provide immediate feedback by asking students to correct their errors using an efficient strategy. I know I'm a broken record, but immediate corrective feedback does not just mean a computer screen saying it's incorrect or a teacher or a peer saying incorrect. The feedback should support students' learning. It should teach.